Hello, I'm Chandra Moy Rabiel. Welcome to the Relaxed Rabbit DVD, where you'll learn how to massage your companion rabbit. Massaging your rabbit can improve their well-being and increase your bond. You don't need any special training or equipment to share the power of touch with your animal friends. In this DVD, we'll cover all the basic massage strokes, and I'll show you how to give your rabbit a great full body relaxation massage. As a professionally trained massage therapist, I've worked with both humans and animals since 2002. I became interested in massage for rabbits while I was studying Swedish massage for people. I lived with a house rabbit called Maya, and I began to practice the massage techniques I was learning in school on her. Over time, I noticed significant change. Maya seemed more relaxed than other rabbits, even in stressful situations like riding in the car or visiting the veterinarian. Her muscle tissue actually felt different, softer and more elastic than other rabbits. Our bond deepened, and the practice of massaging her was also relaxing for me. I began to formally study how I could develop massage specifically to help companion rabbits. I adapted Swedish massage techniques for a rabbit's anatomy and practiced on the many rabbits I met through volunteering with rabbit welfare organizations around the world. Later, I wrote a book called The Relaxed Rabbit, Massage for Your Pet Bunny. This DVD is an extension of that book, and I hope you'll find the techniques easy to follow and enjoyable to learn. So what exactly is massage? What makes it different than ordinary petting? Massage is touch with a healing purpose. The difference between therapeutic massage and general petting is your intention, your purpose. Now what do I mean by that? Varying the amount of pressure you use or the kind of stroke you use and setting aside quality time so you can focus on the massage. These factors all affect the outcome and the experience. By combining these elements with your positive intention, you can transform daily touch into a health benefit in your rabbit's daily life. Massage strokes manipulate the soft tissues of the body, which include the muscles, the circulatory system, and the lymphatic system. Each massage stroke has a different effect on the body. The amount of pressure you use and the pace of the stroke will also change the effect. For example, light feather stroking at a quick pace can stimulate the nervous system, while deeper, slower strokes can be sedating. Other strokes can compress the fibers of the muscles, simulating a contraction. The type of stroke you use will depend on the effect you want to have on your rabbit. We'll cover all the strokes later in the presentation. Massage isn't just for people, although if you've ever experienced a professional therapeutic massage, you know just how beneficial it can be. Animals already have a form of massage they use with each other, grooming. When rabbits are newborn, their mothers lick them to stimulate their bodily functions. Rabbits also groom each other, and sometimes their human companions to show bonding and affection. All living creatures need loving touch in order to survive. 
Many scientific studies have shown that those who don't receive this kind of regular touch have higher levels of stress hormones, are more irritable, and exhibit slower rates of growth. Touch is vital for thriving in this world, and massaging your pets will provide it for them. Indoor or hutch-bound rabbits sometimes lack exercise. They may not get to run and forage the way their wild cousins do. If rabbits are confined to a cage or hutch for most of the day, massage is one way you can supplement their exercise and playtime, as massage will stimulate their circulation and muscles. Some rabbits have been selectively bred for certain physical characteristics, such as the bulging eyes of the Netherland Dwarf, or the extra long ears of the English Lop. These features can put a strain on a rabbit's body, which was not naturally designed to support them. Massage can help alleviate some of that strain. Rabbits carry emotional baggage, just like we do. Emotions and memories are stored in our tissues, Rabbits who have been neglected or abused in the past might be fearful or mistrusting of people. They may have suffered past trauma, whether emotional or physical. Massage is a great way to begin to rebuild trust with these bunnies. Another reason for massage is to help relieve daily stress. Just like us, rabbits can have stress in their lives. Rabbits like routine. When that routine changes, it can be stressful. Stress might come in the form of a ride in the car or a visit to the veterinarian. Small changes in their routine, such as their meal being served later than usual, can cause stress. Bigger changes, such as a new baby or moving house, can be very stressful for your rabbit. This stress gets stored in the muscles and massage can help release it. Massage can help you stay familiar with your rabbit's state of health, giving you a baseline of what is normal for them. If they are used to being touched in a non-threatening way, then it will be easier to handle your rabbit for necessary care, such as nail trims, general health checks, or if you need to place them in a carrier. If you are touching your rabbit's body on a regular basis, you may notice any health or physical changes early on and be able to consult with your vet if necessary. The physiological effects of massage are either reflexive which means they indirectly stimulate the nervous system, endocrine system, and chemicals in the body, or the effects are mechanical, directly affecting the soft tissue or circulating fluids. Massage affects both systems. Massage itself is an aerobic activity. It increases circulation of both the blood and lymph. Every beat of your rabbit's heart delivers oxygen and other nutrients to every cell in their body through the bloodstream while at the same time whisking away cellular wastes. The lymph system also flows throughout your rabbit's body and is responsible for a healthy immune system. Keeping these systems functioning optimally will help keep your rabbit in the best of health. Massage also increases muscle tone, which is how well the muscle responds to stimuli. Regular massage helps to increase the range of motion of joints so a rabbit can hop and move about freely. Muscles that have been overworked or underworked can create adhesions, literally places where they become glued or stuck to the surrounding tissues. Massage can help break up these adhesions, allowing the muscles to function at their best. Massage even aids in peristalsis and elimination, which helps keep the gut moving, a key factor in a rabbit's health. The typical house rabbit will benefit from regular, simple relaxation massage. A whole body routine reduces stress and promotes relaxation. This leads to a healthier skin and coat and a strengthened immune system. As your pet ages, these things will come into play. Start now to build the foundation of health for tomorrow. Massage is a low cost, safe, and natural way to support your rabbit's health. When applied appropriately, it has no harmful side effects, is non-invasive, and supports the body's own healing process. As you can see, there are many health benefits of receiving massage, both physical and psychological. But giving massage has benefits too. 
Studies have shown that simply stroking a pet can lower your blood pressure, decrease anxiety, and increase self-esteem. But perhaps the most rewarding aspect of sharing massage with your rabbit is that it increases the bond between you and deepens the connection between species. And finally, it just feels good. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started. A great massage begins by working safely. You should always start by washing your hands in warm, soapy water. Try to avoid any strongly scented soaps or wearing any perfumes when working with rabbits. They have very sensitive noses, and what might smell pleasant to us could be very unpleasant to them. You should also remove any sharp or dangling jewelry, such as large rings or bracelets, as these could poke or scratch your rabbit. Find a quiet and safe place to work. A good place to practice massage is on the floor, where your rabbit is most comfortable. There is no risk of him falling here, and he can leave any time he wants. This is an important point about rabbit massage. Your pet is always in charge. If he wants to hop away, let him go. He may simply need to use the litter box or take a break. Rabbits aren't like humans and probably won't sit in the same position for an hour-long massage. They need to take frequent breaks and they need to decide when they are willing to accept massage. You may find this especially true when you're first introducing massage to your rabbit. Massage is stimulating to the body and your rabbit will need to grow accustomed to the purpose of your touch. In fact, you might find that you can only work a few minutes at a time at first, but this is normal. Keep practicing. Try to make massage part of your rabbit's routine. If you always practice in the same place at the same time, your rabbit will come to expect massage and may even seek it out. If you and your rabbit are comfortable with it, you could also work at a table while seated in a chair. You should place a towel under your rabbit so they have something to grasp onto and feel secure. Finally, if you are lucky enough to have a rabbit who enjoys sitting in your lap, you could also work this way. Again, use a towel to give your rabbit something to feel secure and make sure that he can safely get down when he wants to. Once you've found a good working position, try to make your massage routine quality time. If you like, turn down any bright lights, turn off the telephone, radio, and TV so you won't be interrupted or startled by sudden noises. Play some relaxing music if it helps you get in the mood. Massage is a transfer of energy. If you feel centered, grounded, and relaxed when you begin the massage, your rabbit will pick up on this and will relax more easily. It is very important to know the health history of any rabbit you are going to massage. Consider any past or present injuries. Are they taking any medications? Have they had recent surgery? These are all circumstances that can interact negatively with massage and cause harm. We call these contraindications. If you have any doubts or concerns, you may wish to consult with your vet before you begin. Here are some of the situations in which you want to avoid massaging altogether or may need to work around a condition. Since rabbits are grazers, use common sense here. No vigorous tummy massage right after they eat, but a neck rub after a few nibbles of hay is fine. Massage can spread bacterial and other infections throughout the body. Let an animal get well before attempting massage. However, a simple laying on of hands or a friendly pet can help improve a sick animal's mood. Massage increases metabolism and circulation, which a fever has already accomplished. Because pregnancy presents so many variables, it is best to avoid massage. 
Also, I advocate spaying and neutering your rabbit to prevent overpopulation. Let the heart rate slow down before a massage session. Cancer and malignant tumors can be spread through the lymphatic system by massage. Benign lumps may be all right to work around with your vet's blessing. These can desensitize your animal to deep pressure and you could inadvertently injure them. Massage affects metabolism and can affect the onset of diabetes. Massage affects circulation. If your rabbit is taking medication to control their blood pressure, avoid massage altogether. Also be aware of how disease or injury fits with your rabbit's overall health. Ask yourself if their condition is affecting them systemically, the whole body, regionally, one area of the body, or locally, limited to a small area. For example, if they are taking an antibiotic for an infection, that will affect them systemically and massage should be avoided. If they have recently been neutered, surgery was regional and massage should be avoided in that region. However, it may be appropriate on the neck and back. Perhaps they have a scratch on their ear, in which case you'd avoid massaging directly over that localized scratch, but the rest of the ear and body would be all right. If you have any doubts about whether it is safe to proceed with massage, ask your vet. They will know more details about your rabbit's state of health and how best to proceed. How will you know whether your rabbit is enjoying the massage? They can't talk, so you must rely on body language to know how to proceed. These are called feedback signs. Some of the positive feedback signs that indicate your rabbit is probably enjoying the massage include closing their eyes, falling asleep, slow and even breathing, sighs or yawns, stretching their back legs or whole body, placing their chin flat on the floor, tooth purring or chattering teeth, grooming or licking themselves or you, flopping onto their side, presenting a body part for massage or leaning into your hands. Negative feedback signs indicate that your rabbit is not enjoying the massage. If you see any of the following, stop the massage immediately lunging or boxing with the front paws, ears flattened on the back in defense, nipping or biting, whale eyes showing the whites of their eyes, muscles tensing in response to your touch, tail twitching or feet flicking, or the rabbit simply leaves. Feedback signs need to be taken in context. Sometimes a rabbit will lay its ears flat back against the head, but is obviously otherwise relaxed. If the ears are back and they are also lunging, showing the whites of the eyes, and in a defensive posture, then you know they are upset. A sharp bite usually means, stop touching me. But if the rabbit is staying close to you, they may give you a soft nip that could mean, don't stop touching me, or not so much pressure, or Move to another spot, please. You will get to know your rabbit best through practice. Observe them and decide how to proceed, always remembering that they are in charge of the session. Never force massage on anyone. Now that we've learned how to recognize some of our rabbit's body language, we'll get to know their anatomy so we can give them a safe massage with the most benefits. Rabbits are classified as mammals. Let's look at the general parts of the body, starting with the head. Anyone living with a rabbit knows how much they need to chew. In fact, rabbits are often mistaken for rodents because of this chewing habit. 
but they are, in fact, classified in the order Lagomorph. Rabbits' front teeth, their incisors, grow continually throughout their lives. They need to chew a great deal in order to keep the teeth worn down. What makes rabbits different from rodents is a set of peg teeth, like a smaller set of incisors, situated just behind the front incisors. Rabbits have large, strong muscles in their cheeks and jaws for gnawing and chewing tough plant fibers. The main muscle in the cheek is called the masseter, which means to chew. The masseter muscle's fibers are arranged vertically to give the rabbit the most strength in chewing. We'll talk later about how to massage the masseter. Feel around the skull from the bridge of the nose, between the ears, and back to where the skull meets the neck. See if you can feel the edge of the skull, called the occipital ridge, where the neck muscles attach. Also feel for two sharp points at the back of the jaw, called the mastoid processes. This is where some of the cheek and chewing muscles attach. If your rabbit will let you, feel along the edge of the jawbone. Some rabbits are sensitive to being touched here, so proceed carefully. A rabbit's eyes are placed at the sides of the head, giving them almost 360 degree vision, or about 190 degrees out of each eye. This allows rabbits to see things all around them, except for a small blind spot in front of the nose. The ears have many intricate muscles and can rotate in several directions, allowing a rabbit to take in subtle sounds. I'll show you how to massage the ears a little later. Moving on to the rabbit's trunk, you can see that rabbits have two forearms, or four limbs. The arm is made up of the shoulder joint, which includes the triangular scapula, or shoulder blade, the humerus, or the bone of the upper arm, the radius and ulna, the bones of the lower arm, and the many tiny bones of the feet. They have nine carpal bones, similar to our wrist bones, and five phalanges, or toes. One of these, where our thumbs would be, is called the dew claw. The back legs, or hind limbs, have a similar layout. The ilium is part of the pelvis and forms a curve at the top when a rabbit is sitting or lying in a loaf position. The femur, or thigh bone, inserts into the pelvic bone. The tibia and fibula bones form the lower part of the leg, and in between is the patella, or kneecap. The hind feet also have many tiny bones, including seven tarsal bones, which form an ankle-like joint, and four phalanges, or toes. A rabbit's muscles are particularly designed for digging, hopping, and chewing. Take a look at the big muscles in the legs. They are the largest muscles in the rabbit's body.